Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. And very Instagram friendly. It's almost just like, I don't, nostalgic. Who's ready for some bubble tea? I am, and Sean is too. So we are gonna show you our top three favorite places in Amsterdam for bubble tea. So let's go find some boba. First stop is Tea Guys here in De Pipe. It is right outside the De Pipe Metro Station and right by the Albert Kipe Market on Albert Kipe Strat. It was started by three guys who were inspired by the cream top. So this is a cream cheese top that they saw in Asia on top of their boba teas. So I've never had the cream top here or ever before. I'm really excited to try it, but we love the brown sugar boba here. So that's also a winner. So let's give it a try. The one I got is the strawberry with cream top. So this is strawberry real strawberries blended with green tea and crystal pearls at the bottom so they're very clear and then the cream cheese is the layer that you see on top and it's their own special recipe that they think brings back the feeling of Asia. Taste test time. I got a lot of cream cheese I'm trying to get so I watched a video I think it was on Cup of TJ where we were taught to kind of try to tilt it so you get a little bit of the cream cheese and a little bit of the strawberry so that's what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. It's there. Mm, mm. Mm. Whoa. That is like a flavor explosion. So green tea, I don't like always drinking it hot, but mixed in with the strawberry is amazing. And that cream cheese top, oh my God. It's like a little bit savory, but still sweet. Oh my gosh. This is a winner. Okay, I'm gonna try the boba now. So we got the straw in there with cream top, the strawberry, and the boba in the bottom. I mix it up a little. I'm not sure, are you supposed to do that? Okay, anyway. Mm. Those are very jelly-like. Less like um, like the chewy tapioca and more like you bite down through it and it goes all the way through. Oh. Do they burst or no? They do not burst. Okay, so they're not filled. With they're not filled. It's just, it's a really cool texture, but not the chewy. It just has that really nice, um, what do you call that? Like tooth feel? something like that. So it just goes right through it. Oh, this is so good. I'm just sad it's cold out. <laughs> this is the perfect summertime thing. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. I'm a fan of this, definitely. But um, we knew they were good, like I said, because the brown sugar boba. So now you have two great choices and a full menu of options. So now let's make our way to spot number two. I wanted to tell you that I had this idea that because it had a cream cheese top, but strawberry, it would taste like strawberry cheesecake. It does not. It just tastes like amazing deliciousness. Like this little tangy creaminess with the sharp, I think sharp, um, fruity flavor of the strawberry. It's just amazing. I just, yeah, I just need to tell you how much I love it. Saigon brew. Saigon brew. Yes. The small, please. And uh, one tiger milk, please. Tiger milk? Now on to the second spot. <laughs> so our second place is Hei Cha. It is down here in the Zaud neighborhood. Zaud means south, so it's the southern part of the city. And as a visitor, you may not get down here, but that is okay because they also have it available in the Kyoto Sushi restaurant in Central Station, the Amsterdam Central Station. And that's where we've gotten it before. But we wanted to show you the whole experience down here in Zaud. And they are super nice and they have such amazing drinks. Their like go-to is going to be tiger milk, which is brown sugar boba milk. So no tea in this one, but I have actually asked for it to have like the tea um, component and they're happy to do that too. But they have so many really cool flavors. You have to check out the menu. And for summertime, we're gonna be coming and trying like a ton of flavors as well. So gonna give it a try. Also, can we just talk about this um, cup? This is just stunning, like hello. How beautiful is that? I mean, I don't know why. That's just, it's not really important at all, but it's cool. And they give um, these paper straws and they mix it up. So with the brown sugar bobas, you do want to mix it up to get that flavor all around or else you're just going to get a 
shot of sugar. <laughs> Perfectly chewy boba. The brown sugar flavor is almost just like, I don't, nostalgic. I don't know why I say that, but it's comforting. It's warm feeling. Yes, this is a cold drink, <laughs> um, but I don't know why. It just gives a sense of comfort and I love it. So because this isn't a tea, it is kind of heavy with the milk, but they use Dutch farmer's milk and it's whole milk. Um, I absolutely love it, but if you're not looking for just straight milk, do ask for the tea option. But like I said, there's a ton of options there. But yeah, this is definitely one of our favorites and I love that they use Dutch, like local milk. So we're gonna head to our next one, which is in the center. And we are showing you our three favorites, but also I just wanna point out they're in different parts of the city. So there's always something really delicious around the corner and that's why we're really enjoying showing you around. So let's go to number three. stop is one of our absolute favorites and it was the first one that we really fell in love with here in Amsterdam and that is Chun. It is in the nine streets here in Amsterdam in the center and they have one of my favorite flavors which is brown sugar bubble milk tea. It is absolutely amazing and this one is a secret from the secret menu. So it's rose milk tea and it is flavored with rose and colored with beet, which is super cool. But this shop was started by Kelvin and Melissa and they really wanted bubble tea to be accessible. It's for everybody. It's modern, it's simple. The style just kind of meshes in with their own personal style and I absolutely love it in there. We come here every chance we get. So I'm gonna try the brown sugar first, just to do a reaction. But this one I've never tried before. So let's get sipping. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that I like the brown sugar milk tea version a little bit better than the milk version is it's just a little lighter and it has a little bit more flavor to it. So this one, like I said, is totally new. So let's give this a try. Ooh, wow. Super floral. Let's, let me try this again. You really have to like floral stuff to, to like this, but if you like that smooth, rosy flavor, this is so cool and very Instagram friendly. <laughs> now you know our three favorite bubble tea spots here in Amsterdam, and you know we love bubble tea. We wanna know if you love bubble tea, so let us know your favorite flavor down below and what your favorite bubble tea shop in the entire world is, because we might wanna go check it out. We will leave links to everywhere that we've been down below so you can see all of the spots and you can go to, and if you like this video, give it a like and let us know in the comments if you want more videos like this and what kind you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, bye.